Okay, so welcome to a new Blender tutorial. So this is the basic. So first of all, you have to download Blender from Blender.org. I will show you how to do that. You go into Blender.org. You just type that in. In and then you come into Blender release. You click here. And then you click 64 bit. Then to download. Sometimes, yeah. Ask everyone to download. I don't will do that because I already have it. So then we can begin. I will also say that I have some inputs that you might don't have when you open Blender first time. The first one is this. Here yeah, that shows me how many frame. I mean how many seconds it will be. With the frame, so if I change this to 30 frames per second, this number change. Another thing I have is this that have I have added that in because Blender have removed that, so I find a way to add that in. So and it is a very great because it's showing what key and yeah what you're actually doing. So now let's get started. So when you first open up Blender, it is something you should do. That is to go into File, um, and then go into Preferences. Let us see. And then you will actually go in into Interface. And here it is some settings you can set on. I recommend you to go into File, and turn this on. Then click save and then click save user settings. Remember to not change anything here because if I do that, that will also be saved. So just open Blender, go in here, press this. System is something we don't need to do anything. And input is something I don't do. Oh yeah, you can also say if you want using this like and Maya, you can press on this. Then, if I now left click, I get in this. And when I right click, I change this, but I don't like that. Oh, it must have been saved without my permission. Oh, wait a second. No, no, it is like it should be. Yeah. So I will go in again. Go here. Input. I like to have this on the right because that is um, what I am used to do. Because in Blender you don't actually left click to select something, you actually right click. I will actually show that now. Now you can see that I right click here. And if I left click this little, um, I don't know what it's called, but this little circle here, actually change direction. So that is the main basic. So let's go back one more time. Let's actually do this. Come in here. And now what more we can do is actually here we have something called autosave. You can just have this as it is. Add-ons. I know that I have this here. You don't, don't have that, but I have some um, add-ons or implics that I don't should have because it is multiplying. This screencaster is something you don't will have. I have added that. And if you see closer, you can see that I have installed Blender on my D driver because I have an SSD um, hard disk that is on the C. So I don't have enough memory to have everything there. So I have this under the D. But that is only mine changing. So, and it's under D Blender. And then the Blender 2.7 for script add on. Yeah. And it is here where many things is. So the first thing is to press Shift. And now you can see I'm getting more. I'm getting this little um, dynamite. The blue dynamite here. And the first thing I actually going is to go into the game engine. This will always be on. Everywhere, so but anyway, ignore that. Let's see, you have two things here it is 
game engine pre publication and game en game engine save as game engine runtime. We will go to that later. The next you shall do is go into the user interface. Make sure to um, select this and click here. You can yeah. The another thing is that I maybe have yeah, I also have this here. I don't think you will have that. I will show you how to get that now. In order to go do that you need to go to Blender, click on Olet version, click on this. No, wait a second, this was not here. Click under here, click on daily builds, click on this place here. And then download the latest version here. If you have a if you have a Mac, you will select one of this. I recommend you using this because this is the newest version. No, actually. Oh yeah, I changed that, but yeah. You can see a different version here. From okay they have Oh yeah, they must have done much more, so you just see here what's the newest version. I recommend you see on this number here first. And then see on this number here. As you can see here, this is the newest version for Linux. This is a little more old version. Yeah, and this is a very old version. But this here, so if you have Windows, you can delete this. If you have 64 bit, if you have a 32 bit, you can delete, you can download this. Or one of these two. Actually, not mother. I will. Don't know this. No, I will show you how to do that. I will take down that under my desktop. So, because some of this item will not be in it. The next thing when we're waiting for that is to go in here. See what I have on. So the view here only the screencaster. Disable is everything that not is selected. So it is hundred of implex here. At the other thing is to go into this and here is something I recommend you to have this on because FBX format is a very great format to export in so yeah, I make human also if you're using that program I will go to that later on OBG you can select that and that is almost everything then you just click here save and then you can go out now you can see here I will actually show you what's going what I can, can do. I will just unzip this file. That can take a little while. Or oh, some seconds. I don't know why it takes so long time. Come on. Faster. I will show you what you what this is going on. Because you can actually. I don't. You don't need to install Blender to use it. I can show you a little trick now because Blender is also an EXE file format. So, when you open up Blender the first time, you will actually get the installation. Just click that and follow everything. There's nothing else there. Blender is also an open source, so it is free for any kind of use. So you can use it for games and something like that. And here you can see something they have. They have a store also here. I don't have used it. This, but this is something of training, books, and um, you can getting a t-shirt with a Blender logo on. Now this is done. So if you don't know that, what I did, you just insert that and go into here. I believe my firewall, yeah. And now we can see here. I will also just go here because the firewall will... Ask me for that. So, I will now show you what I believe you will have. When you open up Blender, yeah, you can see this is the default of the Blender. And then if you go in here, you can see that the screencaster is not to be found. See here, it is not to be found. This is actually on. Yeah, and very many things off. But here is something, add mesh. This one is an in-plug. I will now show you how to download that to your own. Then you first of thing you go in here, go into script, and then you can just um yeah, and then you can just copy I believe it is here. Um, yes it is this this one. 
you just right click, copy, go into wherever, I, you will actually go over here and go into this and find something called Blender. I have to do it from here, Blender. And then you go into the folder, script, and then right click and paste that. I should actually just, um, yes, I can do it. Um, yeah, you just, um, you're just clicking that and, yeah. And then after that, you go into Blender again. Um, into interfaces, and then you select them. You need to call shift and click on this to get in everything here. So though, so yeah, so then you just click. And then click save us. So make sure that everyone have a marker. And now we can go into, so that is the first thing. So just checking. Okay. Now to how to do things here. If you are using Maya, you will recommend, I believe you will believe that you have to click in N and then you do this, this or this. No, no, no. In Blender, in order to, um, and going out and doing like this, you hold down the middle mouse button that can be your mouse wheel. To select something, you right click. And on the arrow, you just left click. If you left click here, I'm getting this. This is so, yeah. So adding thing, you can do that three ways. You can, you can go in here, don't get everything here. You, oh yeah, they have actually add, no, they don't do that. You can click space and then click add, and then what you want, the cube. Or you can do my way, I quit saying shift, A, and then I'm getting everything here. And it's not just mesh I'm getting, I'm getting this too. And this, I believe, I don't know what everything is here for. And text actually. This is very cool. I will go in later, I will show you more about that later. I just delete this, but yeah, you know, in order to go on to this view, yeah. So, and that is the basic of about going around. Let's now see what we have here. So here we have the shelters or two, yeah, with different items. Down here we have the timeline to making movies, and it have actually changed bef because before it started on number zero, but now going on door number one, and this was much higher before. It was, I believe, that high. Um, and then you have this, that's showing you what mode you're in. So you know it's an object mode, in edit mode, you can select this and then adding things with that, change, changing what your model is like. And here you have what um, text overview, um, solid, Bones view that is not that is something I will go in later. You have this. This is a very special view because if I actually adding a um solid um a vertex cube now, look now. This will making everything in a um, cube. And you can see this little dot here. That is in and that is actually the centrum of the cube but yeah we go in here or here if you have a texture on or render mo mode one thing don't try to work in render mode if you don't have a very strong computer with I believe 16 I believe 18 gigabyte of RAM or something like that because it can crash your computer and here you have something this is more for this I will show you that later you have this that can, that this is the move, um, rotate, scale, uh, rotate, um, or scale it. Okay, so if you press in the middle, you rotate, you take it every view. If you, and here is something you can do. If you press shift, press and hold shift and then click on this, this button here, it don't actually showing that. Yeah. Then you can select all of this at the same time. Very many don't know about that. So yeah, I will actually 
just holding down shift and going back. Or you can click on this and then it will turn it off. Then you have global view and normal view. Normal view is a uh, global, it's the most it's the most used one. And then here you might be thinking about this is if I click in here, this actually disappears, everything disappears. So let's take that into the center room again. Centrum again here. Yeah. yeah, so that this is only if I press saying why does that not Oh yeah. I'm using a uh, gaming mode so I have some G keys here that on this number now I so why? But yeah. in order to and here. So that is more for games or if you want to hide some objects. I don't know what this is for. This is so you can when I select something I get in a list circle. That is more for edit for um edit um editing what is it called edit mode was it you pressing O to get into that view and this magnet you pressing shift and tab on the same time and that will snap it to a new to a uh, the next um unit I believe yeah it will take it to the next blender unit every one of this um rectangle here is actually a unit in Blender I don't know exactly why it's called unit, but I believe that is what it is called. There was something here too. I don't know how this works. You have this. That will only make an image, and here you can actually render a movie. If I click on that, it will start on the temp file folder, but that will be do more about later. No, so, and here, if you want to this tab on, you pressing on N. And here you can see different thing. This, if I select this, you see that this number here is actually changing. That is because this is the centrum with no scale or rotation. It's actually scaled on one, but that is default. If I actually just I close this, I cannot move this. Not anyway. If I just click in here now, that is more for other things. So more of you working with rigging that we will go into later. But yeah, on the down here you're seeing something here. This view is actually toggled to full view. What's going on? What do I hide on? Um, wait a second. I don't know what that actually was on now. I want to do one more time. Okay, it is a bug. Don't click on that. <laughs> then you have this. Yeah, this should actually pop up in the first place. If that happens sometimes, if you see this, click here and you're going back to where it was. Then you have duplication of something. You can duplicate your window. I don't see the point of that. And then, yeah. And if you want to work more like you're doing in um, in the Autodesk program, you can click on view here and then you can click on this one and then you get getting more like 3 Max or Maya, you're pressing tab to go into that. You will know what, pressing tab and then you're pressing on tab and then something happens. But yeah. If you want to go back to the normal view, you just click on view again and click. I believe it was this one. No. This one. So yeah. And now let us see about what else. So and now I show you about the numpad. Numpad because Blender don't have any default for this. So if I pressing numpad one, I go into something called front view. You can see that here. Numpad three is to the right. If I pressing shift on numpad three, I go into no now control and shift. And if I pressing control and one, I go into the back. The same is with seven. And control plus seven. Number nine have not anything. You can, yeah. And if you so, and if I want to doing this, I just can just click on numpad eight, numpad four, numpad two, or numpad four. If I holding down control, I can just move the entire thing like this. And if I pressing numpad one now, I'm going to numpad. If I'm pressing numpad five. I'm getting this octographic view, I believe it is called. Same for the input one. If I now um, move this, 
not, you see a lot of change and I cannot even if I getting this perfect. So yeah, in order to getting closer, I believe, yeah, in loom part plus and loom part minus. It not worked with normal, yeah. And now it's so you have loom part enter. Loom part zero is getting to the camera. I don't know what that is, but that is loom part, um, I can just add in a text and show you. Mesh text. Where is that? Oh yeah, it is in another place. There it is. So, I will just go to top and show you what that was. It was an input for this. This, uh, yeah, wait a second. You see that it is disappeared. This was the input they used. So yeah. I will delete that, so. That is how to move inside this. Now to getting some to lit that, so that is the first thing. Now, I know you know in the basic of the Blender, and now to getting a new file, it just control and I unload this on so you can see what I'm doing. Now let's see what else we have. And up here you have what all programs have. The file, I don't need to, to tell you how much of the, but that, that is the last thing you have worked with. Here we can restore the last thing, you can recover from auto save. You can save how you want the blender to open. You can close the program. I don't know everything. Here you can export, um, I mean, no, external file. So if you have a UV file, I mean a texture on this. A texture is an image if you don't know. But here you can just pack that image in. Here you can export. I see here they have actually FBX here and import have a little more that have the um, uh, where is it? Oh, here we have it. And they can also import FBX now, so that is cool. I don't know what this is, I have not tried that out. Rendering, I don't go on up here, I do it from here. That's rendering. This is the CMD, that is a uh, Something I don't don't mess with this because if I open this now and I close it, I close Blender. And yeah, so now you open Blender. That is also see. You just click here. So yeah, that is the basic of the Blender. The next thing is this help. Now this is very special. I will say that this splash screen should not go under help. It should go under Windows. But this is here. So here you can get a manual. It will open up a um, web page, your web page, and going to a Blender, Blender's own home page, or something. You have something, and then you have the Python. This is more for games. Sometimes, oh, they change that. Yeah. And uh, that is the basic. The next thing is this. You have this, and now we may wonder what this is. Well, this is actually different for different users. So you can see yeah, that I'm getting different windows here. Every windows can be changed also. So this is for animation. I believe this is more for texturing. I don't know how to use this. Default game logic, this is for making games. I will show you that later. Motion tracks, I don't use this. Scripting, I don't use this either. I don't know that Blender have its own uh, calculator. I don't know how to use it, but I believe it was something like this no ah, anyway you cannot clean this either I don't think you can no this will always stay so don't mess with that it takes too much space that was done and then you have some that was the scripting you have the UV I don't use I actually like to drag and drop I'll show that in a second and then you have the this is a uh, this is where you actually exp and making movies if you want. That gives you some um, um, some tools here. This is this is actually very new for me. But I am starting to learn how to render a movie here. We will do that later. So and now that was the first. Then you have this. You only have one scene. This is more for games again. Or I can press on this. Adding a new. If I click here, I can just call it whatever I want. So 
and call this W, W. And you can also click here and then click delete. But yeah, that is more for game. Then you have this here button here. So here you have Blender Render, Blender Game, and here you see something change. And then you have Render Cyclus. So Render, so Cyclus Render or Blender Render is almost the same. So and now let's see about this here. This is actually the adding items like light. Here are different kind of light. You have this monkey head. Blender is the only program in the world that actually have a monkey. That I know that give that is special for this program. I very many use that using that in games. Um, and yeah, I will also show you one more thing. You see this little circle. You may think about this point with that. Well, if I'm not clicking on this, it's going into the center of this circle. So that is what that is for. This is to actually adding into a group or remove from a group, remove it from a group, set it. Or clean it, something like that. This is more for animation for with rigging. Here you can calculate um, with, with the frame line that is here. And here we have more, I don't know everything here, but I believe this is for adding it to, it's just some kind of the same. Then you have this. Here you can actually draw something. Move around, see how it works. You can. Erase it. I actually make this much better now because for for it to have a little line and yeah, and you can click here and then I can just click, drag, 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 move and click and drag and then click enter and then click erase and then erase all of all of this. It's not a very good thing because you cannot actually paint in Blender. Unless you're actually clicking on this and then I can just take it this. I don't know if this works, but press enter. And then let's see. No. Yeah, and now we're going to this object. I don't know why I have a thing in like this. But it is in Blender, so let's just be happy with that. This is also just to get things, so you're getting on the view of it. I don't mess with that. And here we have all more tools. I don't know all of that either. Here we're getting more for making here in Blender, I believe. I will go into that later on in this episode. And here you have the this thing here. I don't know everything. I know that this is for mesh. Oh yeah, so you, oh yeah, you're getting the opportunity to. Yeah, okay. I'm getting a little burning here. You know that. Oh, we're actually making. In here, no, that was not on purpose. And one more thing: if I'm clicking Control and Set and Control and N, nothing happens because you cannot actually add a new scene when you is in edit mode. You need to go into. I mean, I mean, in edit mode. Yeah, you get in the point. I hope. The last thing that was last. Okay. Then this is actually open. And then on this last thing you have. Um, rotile transform. Transform is only to move it. Just a much better word for it. A mirror. I will go in that, do that later. So let us see. And now let us know. Trying to. And now I will show you how to adding colors on this. How to set and how to use a modifier to making a mirror of something. So the first thing is click delete on the keyboard and then delete this. I will now show you how to make a glass that you can drink in. So, kind of. Adding a cylinder. Going in here. Click from nothing to tree, to tree font. Or you can just have in none here. And then, click on tab, click on hold and drag to the edit mode. And then, now you can see I'm getting more tools here. I want you to click on this. Actually, I cannot use this. Ah, sorry. What's going on? If you have your model, you can just keep that. But I want to use tree fun. That is the best way. Now I click on number seven, going to top view. I click on this one. Then I click B to box select. Okay. 
if you do something wrong here, don't click. Yeah, if you want to select R, you click A and then A again. But if I now doing this and I getting, oh no, I getting too many. Like I getting one more. I want only half of this. Click B and then hold the middle mouse button in and then drag across like this. No, click delete. And now it's seeing that you getting more. Don't click the first thing here because that will delete more than it's real that you all. You click and then click on face here. That will only delete what faces is selected. Because this is a face in Blender. This is one um, vertical and then you have edge. You can also see how many edge you have here and how much of the memory Blender use. If you save it, it will go a little down because yeah, I don't need to remember so much. So the next thing you will go going is to click on this little, little tool here. Then click here. Now you may, may be thinking, this is what is all of this? Well, it is very easy. This is almost all of the tools that we're using in Blender. The most used is this one. And then you have this one. That don't, don't work with this view here. Someone using um what's where is it? Where is it? Oh, this one here. Yeah, and some some are using the mask also. I don't know how to use everything of this, but yeah. I know something's happening here. You can see that I delete everything, but so why is it why can I then select so why is it back? Well this mirror actually creating a duplicate. And I actually want, and if I, on default it will be like this, so if I'm doing this, it can go in that way. If I then click on this, you will not do that. You can move it up or down, but you cannot remove that. And if I take it to, to the same, I cannot take, take, take them away and something, so yeah. Be a little careful. But what we shall do is making a glass, this to show, show you that. Now, click Alt and then right click. Wait a second. Oh, I don't show you that. It must be a big. Then click E and then set to extrude this way. Then click S and then drag it a little. Oh, wow. Wait a second, wait a second. Go into edit view again. Click on all. No, it's going. You need to go into edit to object mode to click apply. Now take this li a little out. Now you may be thinking that this is okay. No, this is not. This is more like a cup. But something you should know. If is I go into, I believe no, it was one of this view. Sometimes you're getting something called. Um, I will show you that in a blend in the game file because if I now pressing P here to start a game, you see that what's going on. I can see inside it. That is something you can do a different ways, but I have my own way to do that, so I just go into here, I just pressing C, and then Control D, and I shift D, I click in escape, and then I drag this sum up. Actually, that was a very bad way to do that, I just delete that. Mm. Yeah, you can, no, no, I remember, I pressing here, I click Alt, and then I click, um, S, select all, but I immediately am pressing S to scale this a little out. Then I'm pressing E, top, not W but E, and then I just click in escape. I go into here, and then I try to get this very close to here. Um, some I try to get this under. Some kind of under. I will show you that. I can go into do that. You're holding set. But now we can see this is a little under. Then I click F to fold this in. And now we can go in here. See, see. So now we can see that okay. This is not great. I want to scale this in. But what happens here? You need to scale both of this in. And now we can see that okay. Now it looks like a cup. But this top is not great. So now, so what do we do? We do? I will now show you how to. Edit this from a little around plane 
to plan uh, to something that looks like cop. But this is not perfect because I will actually just click here and then. So, but yeah, but this is not good because it's not much here, and it looks very. It not looks round out, perfect round. So the first thing you can go is to clicking on this smooth that will make it more row round. But it's not yet perfect. So what do I want to do? Is click Control R. Make sure it's on this top. Click, click two times. Left click and then drag this just a little, just a tiny bit up. I know that that's a selected, so I just. Just a little tiny bit up. Now it looks better. Last thing I want to do is adding this. Now it's very great, but this bottom here is not good. I don't. Let me see if I can delete. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, you can see this, but what I can do is just click E, take this some in, and then now it is better. I will do that. That's better. You can still see it. But if I now going like this and press this on number two, it is better. You can see that on the button too. Here. I don't know what's caused this, but I can just press an E again. Again, just click there, here. No, you not, don't see that. So, so good. That is the first thing. The next thing is, I want this to be transparent. So go in here to call to this little, um, like I call this little ball here, and then I just click on new. And that will automatically adding a color to this. Now I click on this one called transparency, and I click here. I set this to dot and then five. You will not see anything yet. Because, yeah, yeah, I don't have adding so much. Now I click on this to getting that. I can also change the color, so I want to have a little, a little blue color here. Now let us go into the text overview. Let us now go here and add. Uh, I don't know if this works perfect, but I will add the little monkey head if I can. There we have it. I will rotate that on the set and then click. Ja, yeah, in order to rotate with a hotkey, that is R for rotate. Then I click set to get it this little line here, and then I click 90. Oh, excuse me, minus 90. Then click OK. But this is still not perfect because you need to go into this view. Actually, this is not the best version to do this with. Hmm. If I turn this off then. Hmm, okay, I believe it is some bugs here. Oh, I know what's wrong. I have too many of... First of all, I will turn off this. This is my fall, I apologize. I don't need this. All this. Why cannot this just... All this. I will go on back to solid view because I feel that I have something. Oh yeah, here, wait a second. If you have something like this, that is mean means that you have double something called double faces. Now I will show you how to fix that very easy. Because I because you can see that this is it is very special here. So first of all, you're clicking A to make sure that everything is deselected. Then click A again to select all. Click W and click here. Do you see? Okay, nothing was deleted. Well, in that case, if that don't, don't work, then select almost, then try to select everything thing here. Clicking W and delete faces. Then I will click here. And then I click all. And then hold. And then I click F to fill this in. Let us see one more time. If this works. Yeah, now you, okay, now you can see it. It's not perfect though, because some faces is, 
Wait a second, how is something wrong? If you want to know if I have something called a um, wrong facing thing, you just go to game and then click P. Nothing on that. So I'm going to every view. Nothing on that. Um, nothing here. No, nothing here, believe not. Nothing. That was weird. Why does it go in that way? I will just see if this works. You don't need to do that. Oh yeah, I also need to go back to render view. No, it's still not work. I don't know what's caused this problem. I believe it is a bug in the blender. So, but if I now go into this view here, then it is perfect. This is a render view. Now we can see in the monkey key almost clear. I will click on this again and then I will make it a little. So yeah, something like this. I go back. I now I will press S. Now I mean shift S. And then I will click here to select them. Then I will add a light. But if you're doing this, that is what the cursor will be. Then I go in here, I pressing Shift A, and then I go into this little lump and I click on this point here. Then I will just drag this up a little, and then I believe this will be great. I go in back to render editing. Yeah, you see that. This here can you can click smooth. I don't recommend you to do that here. I recommend you to do that in in this object mode because it uses very much memory. You can see here. So if I now going here, look now. Look on this. That takes very much power from your computer to do that. You can see that my actually likes very much here. But yeah. So, that is something. And now, how to get in different colors. I can just, I just move that to the side. I'll show you with, with the monkey here. I'm clicking shift number three because this is the wrong way. And now going here, I select this one and this one, clicking a new. Then I click on this little plus sign. I'm clicking assign and a new again. Then I make this 100% white. And this also, I can actually make it in this. And I attack. Ooh, okay, and then I can just pressing C. I scroll. I use the mouse wheel and scroll a little in. I do this on both sides. I like clicking enter. I adding a new, and I will this time adding some brown color. Now you may be thinking, I cannot get in brown from this. Well, you can, but it is a little hard. The first thing you need is getting an orange color, then you just make it darker by drag here. A little too dark actually. Yeah. Then the last, uh, I can actually make this blue because that's it's better to see. I will make this brown though. And I have forgotten to select the two faces here. So. This one and this one. Right. In order to hide something, just click H and then you can see. Yeah, hey, there's something wrong here. And then to get it back, just click Alt and then H again. And now you can see this. So if I now take in this box to just see if this, yeah. Just set it here and going to let us see. And if I'm now going back, look on this. And maybe thinking, why is this free? Well, because it it is open source, but you may be thinking now that okay, this is very great. This will work perfect. I don't need anything else to get an image if I want to make a movie. That is not correct. 
because this will maybe work, but a texture is much better. If you want to have this in a game, you must adding um, uh, you must actually adding some movies. Uh, I mean texture. If not, you will. If not, I believe it will go in like this. Um, here's the little monkey. Oh yeah. Then it you are getting this here. I just make this a little faster now. What's going on here? Yeah, you see here that I can also like click and drag. In order to going back, you don't press in control on the Y. You press in this one. I don't think this works. No, I have control shift right to. And here's something you maybe should know. Blender is a program made that is make that can allow you to work very fast. Because I can just click here, that rotate this here, and then I can do something. And um, yeah, one more thing I can tell you now. If you're pressing R and then click that button again, you can rotate it much better. And now I will show you what this is for. If I'm now selecting this two here. But I and I already start to rotate the set. But what if I want only this one? But what is if I, if this one is the one that I want, I don't want to rotate them so much. I only want to rotate them a little bit, tiny bit. Then click here. Click on this here on the 3D cursor. And then click Control and R and see. Now it will only rotate on this little cylinder if I do that here on the set. That is what that is for. I don't know if this is for something else. Yeah, no, it will actually rotate in sign of the circle of this triangle here. That is what this is for, so it's a very great tool. And let's see, was an hour. Yeah, I can show you one more thing though. And that is that I can also get in this monkey to be transparent, but I will really want not all of this to be transparent. I want only this. And now if we're going back. Wait a second. Yeah, I know you can. Uh, you can see that the. Yeah, I know you can see in the bank. If I click in. This is actually looking like it's made of glass. We're clicking this off. Maybe like this. But yeah. That is something you might. Maybe want to like um like to know. This is also something. You see that I have some right here. If I want to have that to like say uh, like saying red, you see that now it's changed. Or I can click here. I can even click in here and then I getting more. I can even make this a little more more right and more transparent. Thing. Can no more dark color. Can change everything here because here you have much more tools. Even have shadows. I will. That will be in another tutorial. So that is the start. This is the the starting. So if you want to learn more, make sure to to subscribe to me. I will make more tutorials. And this is also one thing. If you new, if you is new in Blender, then you maybe have something like I did. I will show you what I started with. When I started, I actually adding a cube here. I even I actually clicked here, but now I need to click here. And then I just click. What's going on? How do I actually do things? And then I pressing here. Then, huh? Oh yeah, I can making this. I can making this. Uh, how do I move? What is this for? Um, oh yeah, I can select so much more. Then I find out that uh, what is this for? Oh, it's color and. Um, I'll make some blue. I make something like this in the start. I cannot even understand how to do anything. I don't even understand why people are actually using the box. So this is so that is how I actually starting. I believe I start with Blender 2.6. Was it two or three? I don't remember, but yeah. That is all for me. So if you like this episode, please click the like button. And goodbye.